Hey, folks, it's Brian Blessing in Las Vegas for ATS.io, and we've got an interconference game that's pretty interesting this coming Sunday, and we're talking about Green Bay at Indianapolis. And the interesting thing here, we talk about how numbers fluctuate from one week to the next. The advanced line for this game was Green Bay minus 2.5, pending results on the weekend. All of a sudden, Indy's a one-point favorite at home. Total on the game is 49. Now, Green Bay got by Jacksonville. It was only 24-20. It wasn't pretty. Jacksonville had a chance to win it at the end. Bottom line is the NFL, week to week, it's tough to get up for everybody you play. And Green Bay, on a day when they didn't play their best, found a way to win the game. And we know the uh, Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams hookup is is ridiculous. They did get a touchdown in that game. But the star of the show was Valdez Scantling, who had a boatload of yards, long touchdown. Green Bay gets the win. Now, you know, you look at this team. I think that they're in control of the NFC North. And I think it's kind of a cushy deal for them right now. I don't think they're threatened. But this is kind of a little bit of an acid test here. And it's a very interesting game. Before the season started, I, I, Indy was my pick to come out of the AFC. I just think this team's extremely well coached. I think their defense is capable of really good things. And I was going to give Philip Rivers the benefit of the doubt. I've never been a Philip Rivers guy. But it stands to reason going to a new team after so many years with the Chargers, it would take a while, and they'd get better and better and better. You know, the thing with them, I don't know that you really had to say they have any real marquee wins, albeit uh, the game against the Titans is a pretty strong effort. 34-17 is the final score. They're running back by committee. Naheem Hines is just a real threat out of the backfield and actually ran the ball pretty well in that game. They'd love to get T.Y. Hilton back and really develop a rapport with Rivers, but with injuries, that's just not happened. But watch out. Indianapolis, a team I think is going to find their groove and a real stride. And at this stage, I think it's a pretty fair thing to say that the AFC is better than the NFC, so you watch these interconference games, and I wonder if that's not a little bit of a starting point here and that big fluctuation in the number. Don't forget, you know, Indy gets the win, but they get extra time to prepare for Aaron Rodgers, and that will do nothing but help Indianapolis. Uh, listen, weather's not an issue here. This game's not in Green Bay. It's in Indianapolis. So Rivers and Rodgers, uh, two of the old guard now that are capable of slinging it all over the place, I think you're sitting here looking at a total of 49, and I do respect mightily this Indianapolis defense. But I think Rodgers, he's got Jones back in the backfield. I think this is a game that goes up and down the field a little bit. And the fact that it's an out-of-conference game, you never want to lose. But if you lose, it's just not as painful as losing a conference game or most assuredly a division game. So I think the two quarterbacks are going to have their fun here. Uh, Two teams doing really well in terms of making the playoffs. Again, the Packers sure looks like the NFC North is theirs to win. And I think Indy's finding their stride here, uh, and they'll have something to say with the Tennessee down the road. Uh, but we'll watch how that all pans out. But I think the quarterbacks get after it here. I'm looking for a track meet, and I think the total actually could approach 50 in this game. Watch for that number to go up during the week. Don't forget our buddy Adam Burke. Great information on his sport, uh, sports podcast. He's here for you each and every day. I join Adam every Tuesday. It's a lot of fun. Love doing it with Adam. But the information is spectacular to get ready for another weekend of football that's rapidly approaching.